So this clip came out a few days back. Uh, I somehow missed it, but here we are talking about it. I couldn't let it go. Um, John Kelly, who was in the Trump or in the Trump administration, he was the chief of staff. He came out and told a story about how uh, Trump said to him, "I wish you guys were like the German generals." And that was sort of confusing to Kelly. He said, what do you mean, the Kaiser's generals? Like, what are you talking about? And Trump was like, no, Hitler's generals. So he wanted his generals to be like Hitler's generals. And, uh, you know, he came out and said that. This is on top of uh, Mark Milley and Mattis, who also came out and said Trump's a fascist to the core. These are people who work directly with him. They're conservative Republicans. And they're sounding the alarm. They're like, Jesus Christ, this guy wants to be an emperor wants to be a demigod in the country. He wants total power. He doesn't believe in checks and balances. He wants the unitary executive theory. And so this was a big deal, big story. Uh, Kamala came out and did a speech on it, and uh, people have been talking about it. But Fox News went into typical Fox News defense mode for Trump, and we got this amazing clip. Bottom line is, if you read H.R. McMaster's book, who is critical of President uh, Trump in some of it and not in others, he talks about how Madison Kelly didn't like the president, and they didn't think he deserved the job, or they didn't think he was worthy of the job, and they went out of his way to make sure a lot of things they asked him to do that they didn't like never got done. McMaster would be frustrated because he couldn't get their attention, and he would say, it's not your job to reign in the president. It's your job to do what the president wants. Let me just point out real quick how insane that is. These people take an oath to the Constitution. If Trump is asking them to do something that's wildly unconstitutional, it is incumbent on them to say we're not doing that, right? If Trump ordered them, hey, uh, go round up all the Democrats, put them in a line and shoot them in the back of the head, um, would it be wrong for them to say, I'm not doing that? No, that'd be correct. That'd be the right thing to do. And let's get specific here. What did these people take issue with? They took issue when we were having George Floyd protests and riots. And Trump said, we're going to deploy the U invoke the Insurrection Act and deploy the U.S. military in our own streets. And then also, he asked, like, just shoot the protesters in the legs. You can do that, right? So that's when people like Mattis and Millie were like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are we talking about here? And Kilmeade uh, reframes the story as if, look, they're just disobedient. He brings up, like, they don't like Trump. It's like, okay, have you stopped to consider why they don't like him? Has that occurred to you? That maybe there is a logical stream of thought to get them to that place that they didn't just wake up one day, nefariously twist their evil mustache and go, Mohaha, I would be disobedient to somebody who's right about things. No, he doesn't even entertain the idea that maybe uh, they know what they're talking about and they witnessed this guy firsthand. It's not your job to reign in the president. It's your job to do what the president wants. And then you factor in the fact that he runs his own company, coming from the business world, the first one we've ever had. It's not even a public company. And then he obviously has frustration. And I could absolutely see him going out, you know what? It would be great to have German generals that actually do what we asked them to do, knowing that's a third, uh, maybe not fully, un uh, fully being cognizant of the third rail of German generals who are Nazis and whatever. Put that on a T-shirt. Holy shit. Trump maybe not being cognizant of, you know, that they're Nazi generals and that's a third rail or whatever. You don't know that invoking Nazis in a positive light is a third rail? That's your defense of Donald Trump? By the way, Kelly points out, and this makes it even funnier, even the point Trump was trying to make was incorrect because in his mind he thinks Hitler's generals are obedient. You guys need to be obedient. But Kelly brings up to him like, Multiple generals of Hitler's tried to assassinate him. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? So even with what he was trying to say, it crumbles. God, what an insane line that was. One more time. To actually do what we asked him to do, knowing that's a third, uh, maybe not fully, un uh, fully being cognizant of the third rail of German generals who were Nazis and whatever. But he was frustrated with the, with the slowdown of... Was uh, it, 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 was, it wasn't just a slowdown, it was insubordination. And there is a culture within Washington, not just when it comes to the generals, who, by the way, should be fired after what happened and in Afghanistan, too. is yeah. of insubordination in the sense that the bureaucrats run the government. The founders did not design this country to be that way. Unelected people don't get to run the country, even if you have four stars behind your name. And I think they were very frustrated that you had this outside guy that says, listen, I'm in charge yeah. now. Yeah, I mean, just childish. Childish. Because they don't want to talk about the specifics of what Trump wanted them to do and why it was a problem and why they now call him a fascist, right? They don't want to talk about that because they know that makes Trump look bad. So what does J.D. Vance, for example, do? He says, oh, the reason why they hated Trump is because Trump was like a peacenik and they were warmongers. Are you insane? Are you insane? 
It has nothing to do with that at all. And Trump is not a peacenik by any stretch of the imagination. He was incredibly hawkish. He's a neocon. But this is where we're at, man. This is where we're at. This is how low Fox News has fallen. I mean, it's just, let's do a segment defending Donald Trump when we heard that a conservative Republican top administration official says, yeah, he's a fascist, and yeah, he praised Hitler generals and said we should be more like them. I don't know, okay, I see this all the time on the left. It happens all the time where people are like, yeah, fair enough, that was, that was fucked up of Kamala, or that was fucked up of Biden, or that was wrong. You know, you get that all the time, all the time, because they fuck up, right? They fuck up, they do bad things, and you say, that's bad. <laughs> like, it's easy for me to be like, yeah, that's bad. Arming and funding and genocide in Gaza, bad. That's bad, full stop. Nothing extra, that's horrible. Stop it right now, right? But you don't see that on the right. You don't see that in MAGA. It's, there's always an excuse. There's always a rationalization and a justification. And a, well, you don't really understand, bro, and you're taking him out of context. And this, It's like, what if we're not taking him out of context and he's just a fucking psycho? What about that? They can't just hold an L. They can't just hold an L. And this is exhibit A right here. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.